<laughs> uh, I want to talk. Did you guys, have you guys seen this the last couple of mornings uh, on the radar? We got these circles that keep showing up, and uh, everybody keeps uh, asking me these questions. That what are these? Do you see that right there? Have another one up here. See that right there? Got these circles they keep showing up. We see this multiple times throughout the year. You see this down in Austin a lot with the bats. But what's taking place up here, we have these roost rings, okay? And it happens all across the country. So what exactly are roost rings? Well, roost rings are this, just radars just detecting a bunch of birds just taking off from a, from a roost right around sunrise. So at sunrise, these birds take off together and they search for food. So as they, they take off and they really fan out in different directions, their movement is just picked up by radar. Remember, radar looks at the winds within a thunderstorm, and if it can detect, you know, rotating winds, and we see, we see straight line winds, or we can even see a tornado. But by the radar right now, uh, picking up these birds taking off from these roosts, it just forms a really distinctive ring shape. And as the birds climb to a higher altitude, or they just fly out of range of the radar, the, the, the rings just fade away. So I thought it was kind of cool. So did meteorologist Kyle Roberts. He put something together on, uh, on WFA.com. It's an interesting, uh, interesting read. Out there right now, we are all clear in our part of the state. R most of the state, I mean, out here just uh, between El Paso and Big Bend, far, far west Texas, we have a couple little spotty showers. That is it. Look at this. There's midnight tonight, 7 o'clock on Wednesday morning. There is nothing going on across uh, the great state of Texas. It is a very, very quiet work week. Not until we get into the day on Friday. I'm taking you through Thursday right now. Here's Friday morning and here comes a cold front that moves in our direction. Not Friday. So really most of the state is dry through Friday and then Saturday. This weak front starts to drop into our area. It'll bring with it a little bit of rain on Saturday, 20% coverage, 80% of us are dry. Sunday, 90% of us are dry, but as the front, the weak front, 7 a.m. on Sunday, starts to sag into the area, a couple little spotty showers can't be ruled out, and then the front falls apart. So, the va again, 80-90% of us won't see a drop of rain. A couple of spots could pick up a little bit of rain. It's a little more likely in East Texas, Southeast Texas. They don't need it here, but they have a little bit more rain in their forecast. High pressure is in control. The next, I mean, we're talking temperatures with this ridge, this big heat dome on top of us most of the week. That'll allow temps to jump back up into the triple digits. It moves away and allows a cold front to uh, slide in. A weak one, but a, a cold front nonetheless to slide in as we head into the weekend. Tonight, warm and muggy, 78 to low, hot and humid tomorrow. We hit 97 today. 97 is the normal high today through August 14th. So we'll be a degree above normal tomorrow, still hot. And then we jump up into the triple digits Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then a tiny little cool down into the upper 90s on Sunday and Monday. We jump back up into triple digits Tuesday through Friday of next week, and then we're back into the upper 90s on the following weekend.